Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this look without highlighting or contouring, baking, or any of that other stuff. So if you're makeup challenged like I am, so I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Let me know your thoughts and if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Okay guys, I'm starting out on clean skin. I've used my Clarisonic to deep cleanse my skin. I do have oily skin, so it's really important to do that. And some of my other problems are I have discoloration around my chin, I have smile lines, my top lip is lighter than my bottom lip, and I have to be careful around my eyes. I'll be 45 next month and I want to avoid wrinkle, wrinkles under my eyes and on my forehead. So the first step, even though I have oily skin, is to add a moisturizer. Moisturizing the skin has nothing to do with your oiliness. So you always want to make sure your skin is hydrated or that you're stealing in the moisture from having washed your face. So I'm creating like a tinted moisturizer by mixing the Trader Joe's oil-free antioxidant moisturizer with the NYX Illuminator in pure gold, I believe. And um, it's a great way to provide a very illuminated kind of backlit look to your foundation routine. And you could also just wear it like that if you want it to. Um, I'm gonna moisturize my lips with this product by Eucerin. I absolutely love it. If you wear matte lipstick, you will wanna get that. Um, now I'm gonna just prep the skin, moisturizing it using the Mario Badescu uh, Rose Water, which I can't live without. All right, so again, I do have oily skin, so I use a mattifying primer because it helps to sort of uh, manage the oil over the course of the day and keep my makeup in place. This is the only mattifying product I will be using, by the way. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to use the Smashbox BB Water Concealer, which I absolutely love. It is bomb. <laughs> it provides light to medium coverage. So to me, it's the great, it's a great uh, concealer if you like to have a very natural look to the skin, but also you want to, um, you know, sort of lighten and, you know, bring life around the uh, eyes while also kind of camouflaging any um, darkness you may have in that area as well. Here's a real good tip for those of you who have smile lines or aging skin or you pick up a little weight and you get that little divot right there around the mouth. What you can do is put foundation in that area, a lighter color foundation, and then just kind of work it into that smile line and it'll bring that area forward so you don't see the depth. It's not visible to the eye. So that's a great way to kind of erase, um, erase those smile lines. So now I'm gonna go in with um, my foundation and I love, love, love this Makeup Forever HD foundation or Ultra HD foundation. It blends into the skin really beautifully and it blurs those pores or any imperfections you may have without looking cakey and without looking like a full coverage foundation. It's formulated in such a way that you can easily build it up, which is what I prefer to do. So I like to use very light uh, coverage for my everyday look when I use this particular foundation. But if you want it to have a more full coverage look, you could certainly do that. It's very, very versatile and uh, beautiful on the skin. Okay, so now I'm going to just set everything using Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. I love it because again, if you have enlarged pores or um, you know you wanna blur anything, this product will do it for you. And I'm just focusing on my T-zone. Okay, so I have very sparse brows, very fine hair on my brows, so I love the Becca's uh, Light and Dark uh, Brow Mousse because it stays in place all day. Like this is perfect for people with oily skin because a lot of times our products can oxidize on the skin. So yeah, this is a holy grail for me for brows. Now I'm not gonna show you the whole technique I use for my brows because this was partially a struggle brow day, but then also the technique I use is for people with really, really fine haired brows but want it to look natural when they do their brows. So that's not gonna be of interest there, everyone. So. Um, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. And I'm just using the um, uh, NYX uh, Mattifying Bronzer, or I'm sorry, Matte Bronzer on my cheeks just to, again, kind of bronze up the skin around my hairline. 
Um, I did not focus a lot of foundation around my hairline because I hate getting that buildup um, on my scalp. So I use the bronzer to do that. Now, if you have sagging skin, here's a tip. Um, a lot of times your jags, your jaws will sag due to weight or aging skin. If you create a line slightly above your chin line or place your bronzer there, it will give you an automatic facelift. Bring everything up. <laughs> so now I'm just going to use that same matte bronzer on my eye area. Um, and I kind of flick the brush up at the end just to, again, lift the eye. Another technique I kind of use for, you know, aging skin because you want everything to kind of be lifted up. So it's a great way to have that face lift without spinning a dime. <laughs> and I'm just going to use different colors that are in the Tartlet and Bloom um, palette. You could use any palette you like. I just like to use um, a nice sort of warm color uh, around the transition area or just beneath my brow bone. And then I like to go for something um, like a sparkle or a lighter color on the lid and then a little bit more defined look around uh, you know the edge of the eye now if you have hooded eyes like me you want to make sure that you're looking straight on in the camera and not making any weird faces when you apply the crease or create the crease uh, because we have hooded eyes we have to you know carve out our crease in a different way than people who don't have hooded eyes so that's a little technique i use just looking dead on in the mirror and drawing the crease in over where the fold of my skin is for my hood. All right, so next I'm going to use um, the Lasting Line, I think this is called, by Bare Minerals. It is my absolute favorite eyeliner. It stays, again, in place all day, and it is so pigmented. I'm using very light touches here because it's really black. It's called Absolute Black, and it's absolutely black. Okay, if you have trouble lining your eyes, just make sure you don't pull down on the area under your eyes. Put your finger just beneath your lash line, push in, and the area you'll need to line will just pop out. Just a tip, I want you guys to avoid wrinkles whenever possible. So here I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on my lips because I mentioned I do have the discoloration, and I'm adding NYX um, Abu Dhabi. I believe this is in their matte cream line and then I'm going to line my lips with this is just I think a kiss lipstick I picked up at the beauty supply store um, and I'm doing that just to add some dimension around the edges and it also really kind of um, creates this other really beautiful and I think attractive nude color for women of color skin tone. <laughs> now I'm just using a foundation to clean up because when I use a color that dark, it actually darkens, it, it makes the other areas around my skin look really dark. So I like to just make sure that I get a nice crisp line as much as possible and kind of lighten that area up. And uh, then I'm adding a little bit of pink. I believe this is a Bare Minerals gloss and um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first full face. Um, makeup look and I hope you found it helpful. See you guys next time. Bye-bye